Hello and good morning. It's Get Snatty. Get Snatty his way into your hearts. Five days a week, is it? Monday through Friday, 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Doing our thing. I just played that that little uh, that little opening credits thing with the piano music. It's five minutes long. And I had like so much shit to do. At least like now, like I can it makes it so I can I always start at 9.05 anyway. Now I don't feel bad about it. So I just put that out on nine. Then I got like five minutes to rush to do whatever I gotta do. So I like that. I hope you like the piano music. A little, uh, little Chopin for you. A little Chopin for you. We're going live on Instagram. We, uh, I'm a fairly well-known TikToker. Uh, that you may be surprised to learn I'm no longer streaming this morning show on TikTok because TikTok can eat a fucking dick. <laughs> so I love that. And you can say shit like TikTok can eat a dick on other platforms. So here we go. Uh... Awesome credits. You should make a Star Trek themed one. Live that fantasy. Um, I've always walked a uh, walked a uh, walk uh, walked a fine line between Roxy between uh, being uh, hey Maxine trying to be like into geek stuff but without being scary to hot girls, hot shallow girls. Can you walk that line? Something I've always been, not that, not that I, I end up with shallow girls or aren't even attracted to, to shallow girls, but I, I do want the esteem of shallow girls. I'm very, very shallow. Very much want the esteem of strangers. So that, that only means to say I would be wary about doing like a, for instance, a Star Trek opening credits, lest somebody coming by thinking I was making a, a purely geek oriented show. My line moves where I walk. I don't walk on the line. See, mine, uh, I'll tell you what, I've, I've said this before, but the fact is, I, I know you're being cheeky, but I'll I'll, I'll be, I'll answer the cheekiness with, um, it's been good. in terms of like, in terms of like my music, that is something where I'm, I'm a singer or whatever I used to be. Like with my music, I, I do have something resembling artistic integrity. Um. You know what I mean? But with shit like comedy, I, I kind of don't. So it's like, there is no line. Um, why did what send twice? Thank you for doing the show, Nat. Gotta listen while doing homework. Thank you for listening every day. I appreciate that. Do I ever go by Natalie? Is that a serious question, Maxine? Or is, was that like just designed to like impugn my manhood some way? Or are you not an English speaker? Uh, <laughs> Maxine, are you, are you like... Well, Natalie Natalie is a, a form of the same name, Nathaniel, which comes back from the, the Hebrew name, uh, the Hebrew word Netanyahu, which means God is given. Natalie would be the female form of the name in English. One of the female forms. Now, if you're trying to like imply that I, I'm effeminate in some way, that's cool. It doesn't really um, annoy me, but it'd be weird. It, I don't know if you're an English speaker, but it would be a weird kind of bit of like, if you said someone named, if, if for instance, if you walked up to uh, no, ew, Natalie is better than Nathaniel. So now you're just insulting my name, Maxine. Like if you're going to like bring up weird shit to like vaguely offend me, at least make it vaguely interesting. Not like, you know, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> So now you're saying my name Nathaniel's bad and I should change it to Natalie because that's amusing. That's the road you want me to go on. Is there comedy to be gleaned from that? Or is the joke here that like you're, you know, I'm just asking, uh, what am I doing here? YouTube. Cause we could, we could, we could, we could, we could, we could go this joke. I mean, people used to call me Natalie. Well, I'll tell you now, now you bring it up. My name's Nathaniel and I go by Nat which is typically the name Nat is typically more, more, most common in English. Um, as far as I know, most common in English is like a, a, a diminutive form of Natalie, like, uh, like our friend Maxine says. Um, so it is like, it, it is, Nat is, is, you know, even though it, it's pretty gender neutral, it is typically female in English. Um, Nat is the common short form for Nathaniel and the name Nat and Nathaniel is much bigger. I've found um, much bigger among African Americans, the name Nathaniel and Nat, than uh, uh, 
but you know, it's a name out there and it's coming back. But the, you know, the name Nat, you don't see it much typically on dudes. My friend Natasha goes by Nat. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's very very common. <clears throat> but and, and that's one of the reasons why people like you you. One, this is one of the things you deal with when you have a weird name. People always want to. I gotta go live on Shadow Let me go here. People always want to call me Nate. It's really like you got a weird chip on your shoulder having a weird name because I was a kid. My name's Nat, and people, um, people would call me want to call me Matt or Nate. People have trouble with with the name Nathaniel. Also, they want that to be Nathan. So it's like whatever. So Maxi, just between you and me, I go. I get the reason I got pissy at you just before when you started messing with my name is because I've got a chip on my shoulder going back to when I was like in when I was seven years old. So there you go. That's why I got the saltiness, but <clears throat> I was kind of serious that you're not that all that funny. <laughs> so try to do better. There was another, see, there was another dig cause I'm still mad. I used to like, cause I, I had a weird name when I was a kid. I used to watch like shows like Romp Room where they would, they would read the, the names of the kids off. Like I see Bobby and Susie and Cindy and Jerry and Joanne, and I always wait for years and years as a toddler or whatever. Years and years. When are they going to say Nathaniel? Well, they just say Nathaniel once. Well, prove to me I exist. I ex- How can I exist when I have this name that people can't even that pe- people can't even pronounce? No wonder I have this like weird thing about. No, no, no wonder I have this weird thing about like wanting to be famous. When like from a little kid, like trying to like explain who I am was something like very very difficult to people because they just can't grasp. Your name. It, it's something that like a lot of people, um, people who like emigrate to another country. Like if, if you come here from, from China or something, you have a name that's hard for English speakers to pronounce. Um, it's, you know, that kind of similar thing. <clears throat> and like, you, you totally understand why I totally understand why people move here from, from a place where the language is much different. Like, you know, like spoken Chinese, like you form words differently than English. It's tough. It's tough for English speakers to, to say the word, like the city Beijing the right way, the way it's, it's tough for a Mandarin speaker doesn't speak English to say like New York without sounding. Anyway, um, I, I see why people change, change their names when they move to, to different countries, just because it's easier and not having to explain. No, it's actually pronounced like this every single time. Like imagine I'm in the conversation as a kid all the time saying when people go, Oh, Hey Nate, Hey Nat, you're like, no, sorry. My name is, my name is this, having to explain it all the time. Then imagine getting to know somebody, knowing someone for a couple days who's continuing to get, get your name wrong. So someone with whom you've built a rapport, maybe you're at a new job or at a new school, someone with whom you've built a rapport for a couple days and you have to like stop and you're doing like, hey, sorry, person with whom I've built up a rapport or a working relationship for a couple days. We have to have the awkward conversation now about how you've been getting my name wrong. It's just the whole fucking hassle. So, you know. If you're going to make jokes about my name, Maxine Laurel, that's the reason. If you're going to make, and this is a good rule for anything. If you're going to make a joke about anything, make it fucking funny. Especially if you're going to make a joke about something offensive, something controversial. Well, you have the good sense to be fucking funny. Like just being gross or just being controversial is not inherent humor. That's not fucking humor. You have to like make a punchline with comedic logic. It's I always fucking rip on this guy, but I'll rip on him again. That guy fucking Seth Myers. What a fucking comedy turd. He was a head writer of SNL, apparently. I guess he's a good comedic mind. But here's but here's it wasn't even a joke. Then you were just insulting my name. Okay, cool. Thanks. So you weren't joking, you were just insulting my name. Great, thanks for clarifying. Um, so this guy, Seth Matt Myers. Um <laughs> That's a good one, Roxy. So Seth Meyers, like, here's every Seth Meyers joke on his show. It's politician I don't like says something I don't like. And then Seth Meyers goes, really? Like, the joke is, like, don't go there. The joke is a one-liner that, like, people know. That's not even the joke. The joke is something else. And then it's, like, it's like a sitcom joke from a bad 90s sitcom. Don't go there. It's like a Simpsons joke about bad sitcoms. Wow, we're going like we're in like a little Russian nesting doll of, of comedy here. Uh, it was a question, Maxine Laurel. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna do something a, a very special new addition to. Let's go live here. Very special new addition to the Gets Natty Show. That's a uh, that I'm sorry, everyone on if you're on. Uh, I want to see the chat. 
if you're on Instagram, if you're on Chatterbeat, you're not going to be able to see this. You got to you got to join the the technologically cool people who are, who are watching on Kick on Twitch. Um, which guy do you hate, Maxine? The the ninety sitcom guy. <clears throat> don't go there. Yeah, like I just humor like just more like like I, I really I don't know why I always rip on Seth Meyers, but that's his joke. Is really. Like politician, I don't like says something stupid, says or does something stupid or awkward, and then Seth Myers goes, "Really?" And you know, maybe like I see in 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 him, I see another a fellow middle aged, vaguely handsome white man, and I resent him because I resent myself. Maybe that's it. That could be. I don't know. Seth SMT shaking my teeth. Shaking my titties. What are body parts that start with a T that aren't dirty? Because all I got when I think of uh, when I think of body parts that that start with a T, I'll admit all I got is tits and twat. Teeth, teeth, tits, twat. Toes, thank you. <laughs> teeth, tit, twat. Taint. SMT something. Thank you, thank you. Real time, uh, real time dictionary. Tennis, tennis. Thigh, te- okay, okay, I get it. There are there's more to T body parts than tits and twats. Thank you, fucking biology majors. Jesus, don't go there. <laughs> can don't go there be my can don't go there be my new gets natty morning show catchphrase. Don't go there. Tentacles. That's true. That is a body part. Okay, we're going live on Chatterbait. To the confusion of the the masturbators on cat on chatterbait. <laughs> what is a twas? A oh a twat is a uh, is a twat is a slang term for a um for for a for a cooch cooter a JJ. Let's talk vagina. Hi, welcome to the Guest Natty Morning Show. Today we're talking vagina euphemisms. What's your favorite? My least favorite is the one that starts with a P. That is is that is a cat thing. Don't like it. It it I just. I like the, the the physical thing. Well, the nice ones. Nice ones are great. Gross ones are the worst. It's really horrifying. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, yeah, nice ones are great. Uh, but what are euphemisms? <laughs> euphemisms for the for for the JJ. I like JJ too. The Barbie box is nice. It's nice. I don't know. I feel like my girlfriend would get mad at that if I referred to it as her as her. You go, girl. Don't go there. Don't go there is a new catchphrase. That's going to be a new TikTok. Okay. So what we're going to do with the TikTok lives from now on, I've decided I'm going to like pop in for like a half hour at a time for like stupid fucking uh, like stupid premises. Like yesterday was like, we're taking relationship calls. This one is going to be, don't go there. So I'm going to put on a character live on TikTok right now for about 15 minutes where we're supposed to, where I'm going to ask people to bring up awkward things. And I go, don't go there. So if you guys, do you guys smell what I'm cooking here? I kind of want to use TikTok Live as a as a literal means of performance art there, because I can't do a talk show there, and they don't want anyone to watch me. So don't go there. I also like calling everything Super Fun American Party on on TikTok all my lives, but I'm just gonna call it Don't Go There. Also, I have something I want to show you. I can I can now share videos. My favorite performance artist is Trisha Paytas. Is she a performance artist? Should I, oh, should I show this stupid plastic piece of garbage? The stupid fucking TikTok shop. They make you show their stupid fucking horrible products made in a fucking sweatshop. Then again, someone made a great point. A thing about like, do you know how like how awful and time intensive uh, farming, right, working rice farms is? It's like all day. It's like like rice farm, rice agriculture takes like, it, it's very labor intensive and it's like 12 hour days. So people have made the point, like in some cases, like people are happy to work in a horrible factory because it's better than, than that, which I don't buy that. Like that doesn't mean the factories can't be better, but it's something like, it's something to think about before. Like we always presume we know best, especially as Westerners, we have a bit of a savior complex and boy, do we muck everything up, don't we? Don't we? Don't we? And it's so fucking ironic that it's so fucking ironic. There, there's one of a grand, one of life's great ironies. Um, 
So yeah. Uh, okay, don't go there. Don't go there. Oh wait, no, 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 no. I forgot to to attach the product. We're gonna. Sorry, we must sell. We must sell cheap Chinese products on TikTok. TikTok shop is life. Take that, American worker. Take that. Take that, people in Hong Kong, people in Taiwan, struggling against what is actually one of the worst regimes ever. Truly, yeah. So, sorry, people in Hong Kong. <clears throat> sorry, sorry, Uyghur province. Sorry, Taiwan. <clears throat> Hollywood loves those Chinese communist dollars. So we're going to go sell on TikTok shop. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yes, I did. <clears throat> mm. Hello, don't go there. Welcome to go. Don't go there. It's me, Gets Natty, and I'm Gets Nattying my way into your hearts five days a week, Monday through Friday. And here we are on TikTok with don't go there. Oh my God, Instagram sees a giant version of my head. <laughs> oh no. So yeah, Gets Natty is live. Let's chill and have a good time. Ask me about my Discord. So as you know, I'm Gets Nattying my way into your hearts five days a week. And we're doing a little segment called Don't Go There. Oh, I forgot to, again, I forgot to fucking, I have to start over again. I have to start over again because I forgot to attach the product. Hey, Ashlyn, I'll be right back. Forgot to attach the god darn, the silly TikTok product. Poor Instagram's right up in my face. Okay, live, go live. I'm sorry, guys, I'm the worst. Don't go there. It's not music. Don't go there. That's the name of the show that I'm about to do. Are you guys excited for the first edition of Don't Go There? Business, ad products. Cheap products are life. Ad. Ooh, free sample. Okay. Hi. Aren't you guys excited for the first edition of Don't Go There? She went there. She's a thrilling diva. Is the gets in the name the same as the get for the sheeps? Um, I don't, Maxine, I don't actually get that joke. It sounds sophisticated though, and I like it. Hi, welcome to the Gets Natty Show. Today we're, we're guesting on TikTok, and on TikTok we're doing a special segment called Don't Go There. I don't know what that means. You're going to have to let us know. New nap time. I, I, I broke every single pair of reading glasses in my house. I'll tell you. I am so old. I go back to the Jurassic period. Oh my God. But I broke every single, every single pair of reading glasses in my house, except for these. Uh, Maxine, I can tell you the story behind the, the, the name Gets Natty uh, at some other time, but it's an interesting story. But no, uh, uh, it's not that. Hey, yes, my fam, we're brought to you by this awesome, uh, this awesome plastic, uh, this very pink plastic, this very awesome, uh, what's it called? Uh, very awesome. I'm so old. Uh, this very awesome plastic, I forget what it's called, a plastic phone holder. You can buy it for $29.99. Look at how cute it is. It also comes in black and it's so, and it, and it's so, it's so, it's so sleek when it's in black as it is cute when it's like, won't you tap that screen? See, yeah, I'm in, I'm in TikTok jail and it's, why am I even bothering with this? I can't even do my like performance art bit. 98 is young. I'll tell you. Um, how was the last summer? The last supper. Uh, you know, I, I didn't get invited to last supper because I was having a, I was having a little beef with, with Judas Iscariot at the time. Judas Iscariot, not a great guy. And it turns out, it turns out he betrayed Jesus in the end. I always knew. I always knew. After he betrayed Jesus, I was like, see, I, I told my, I, I told my wife, uh, Lorraine, I said, hey, Lorraine, I told you about that Judas, didn't you? Lorraine's dead now. She died uh, 400 years. Was Jesus nice? Jesus was a great guy. Great guy. Give you the shirt off his back. He would turn water into wine. Uh, Judas was a guilty fucking... Listen, I don't like to talk out of school about what the apostles got up to in their personal lives. But, you know, as, as, as our friend Jesus said, let he who was without sin cast the first stone. I haven't seen your dog in a while. Is he still around? 
Uh, did you just misgender my dog? I'm kidding, of course. Nina's right here. She's uh, she's a good girl. She's sleeping. Would you like to see my dog? Nina, look at her. Look at her. Look how cute she is with one eye open, sleeping in a bing bean bag. Hey, welcome to the Gets Nanny Show. Wow, one like. So you guys know that I, I stream this morning show uh, on X and on Kick and on Twitch and on YouTube and. Uh, TikTok hates me, so I'm not going to stream here anymore. <laughs> uh, Nina is a comfy gal. Um, oh, wait. Now, now it's, it's, I start complaining about TikTok, and then more people watch. Hey, get this cheap plastic thing. Isn't it fun? We need more light in here. <clears throat> Nina is a bit of a diva, isn't she? Hey, Jillers, how are you? Buy this cheap plastic thing. But you should really come watch me on X, on Kick on uh, Adderbate that starts with a show on Instagram anywhere but the clock app because the clock app you can't do a talk show and in order to like to get traction you have to shield cheap Chinese products that I don't know it's nice I actually like this thing I bought this thing um for actually they sent me a free sample but I'm really happy with it and I would buy it I'm, I'm happy actually to attach this to my lives but I do resent having to having to in order to you know having like being forced almost to 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 do matches. Here's what I don't like about TikTok Live. Matches, matches are dumb. I don't want to do that. I want to talk and I want to like, I want to do a talk show, not not do this. This is, well, I'm not going to do this. I don't want to have a, I don't want to have a competition with some guy in Pakistan where the competition is people watching me are giving money. What is that? I don't want that. So I'm sorry, TikTok. I, I, I'm, I'm only on here right now for anyone, um, the only reason I'm on here on TikTok right now is to let anyone knows who watches me to, to please watch the show anywhere else. Like X or Kick or Twitch or yada, 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 yada. Uh, <laughs> XW67 says, take your clothes off. Well, I do do that sometimes, mister. You ought to uh, just look at my link tree on my Instagram. But if you're looking for... Uh... Yeah, I'm leaving, Jill. You can come watch me on X on Twitch, uh, on Twitch, on YouTube. Natty Eats Junk, you'll find all my uh, Safe for Work stuff. Gets Natty, you'll find all my Safe for Work stuff and the other stuff. Um, I'm also going to start putting the show onto, pod, onto uh, Spotify every day. I'm live on Instagram right now, Jill. Natty Eats Junk. The, the show's best on Kick or Twitch or X, but you can come watch on Instagram right now. I'm not going anywhere. Uh, but I'll, I love you guys. Gets Natty my way into your hearts. I'm sorry uh, the clock app stinks and you can't do a talk show here. Why do you jump for stream to stream? My massive erection, I am I'm streaming everywhere. I'm not jumping anywhere. The only thing I'm jumping in and out of is TikTok. Um, but I, I stream every morning from 9 a.m. to around uh, 9 a.m. Eastern to 12 to 11 p.m. Eastern to 11 a.m. Eastern. Anyway, I do two hours every morning on Twitch, X, Kick, YouTube, Twitch, Chatterbait. I'm not, I'm not like jumping around. It's just... Uh, it's just uh, the TikTok I pop in and out of. Uh, Nina, me, Nina is a Spanish word for female baby, I believe. El Nino, El Nina, La Nino. No, 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 I, I get it. My, no, you're, you're absolutely right. Like my massively erect hug, hog. It's all about being consistent. Um, like on, on TikTok, I always get on banned. I get banned or age restricted. Like I literally can't do a talk show on, on the clock app. And so I won't, uh, I'm, I'm done like beating, uh, I'm done like beating my head against the ground, trying to like beat the TikTok community guidelines when I never will. And so who gives a fuck? I'm going to make my show worse other places just to comport. <clears throat> Didn't Chris Farley get famous with the El Nino skit? Um, well, he was a Saturday Night Live cast regular. I don't know. I can't remember exactly what his first the skit that put him on the map as a national figure was, he was just funny from the get-go. Uh, and, and, and the fact that I actually can't remember what the El Nino skit means, was, was makes me want to say, I want to say the one that first got him famous was, in a van down by the river. Chris Farley, for those of you who know, is a, a comedian from the 90s, a large gentleman who was very, very funny, uh, who died of a drug overdose part of a comedy team, uh, a fatty and skinny comedy team with David Spade. 
They call it the Nino. No, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't not believe you. I'm sure that skit existed. Um, and maybe you're right. That was the one that put him on the map. I just don't remember it. SNL is so boring. I can't believe people watch it. Well, the thing is, I don't watch SNL anymore. Hey, Cat Lady Pepe. Um, I don't watch SNL anymore. Um, like watch the show when it airs, but like the good skits do. The, the good skits do uh, do get filtered down and through YouTube. And I, I kind of think like, I, I kind of think I remember watching SNL back in classic time. I was watching, uh, I was watching SNL when it was airing, when it was like Dana Carvey and, and, and Phil Hartman. God, I'm old. Um, like good skits are good skits. I don't like SNL either. I found it silly and not funny. Mad TV was hilarious. I watched Mad TV too. Um, Artie Lang, I'm a huge Howard Stern fan. Artie Lang, uh, who was on the Stern show for years, got his start on uh, Mad TV <laughs> and famously got fired by Quincy Jones for a for an awful run-in with uh... Dana Carvey was uh, pretty damn funny. David, Dana Carvey is so, so – his his Trump impression, his, he's got the best Trump impression, the absolute funniest Trump impression going right now. Um, him and Jamie Foxx. And, and also um, – um, hey, Cordis. Also, uh, also Dana Carvey's Biden impression is fantastic. He does this real time. He does both on Jimmy Kimmel. He did it a few times. I love Jimmy Kimmel. Sorry, I go, I go back way. I go back many years with Jimmy Kimmel. Big fan. Um, Dana Carvey did like a real time. He was hosting the Jimmy Kimmel show for some reason. I guess Jimmy got canceled for some reason. But he did. Um, um, he. Uh, What did he do? Oh, yeah. He did Biden and Trump in real time. He would, like, change costume and wigs and, like, go back and forth. It was really, really funny. What movie has the girl who says, I see dead people? That was a boy who said that named uh, Haley Joe Osmond, and that movie was called The Sixth Sense, which is a brilliant film. And it, it, it's become uh, the norm to clown on M. Night Shyamalan. But I want to say he's a great fucking director and a visionary filmmaker. And I don't know. He made some turkeys, but they all do. Um, there's so many good impressions, Trump, uh, Trump impressions out there. The, the, uh, the, 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 look up, um, the Jamie Foxx one. They tried to give me the virus. Uh, <laughs> really funny. Artie Mad TV stories are the best. I agree. My husband loves SNL and I just walk out. The old stuff is good though. I, I kind of feel like at all time. Well, it has been pretty bad in the few years, but they just need a new. Uh, they just need a new uh, new cast. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis is fucking hilarious. Every time I watch a Shane Gillis clip on YouTube, I'm I'm cracking the fuck up. Would you take the six? Someone asked the six cents or Shutter Island. Uh, I'm a huge Scorsese fan, both as an Italian American and as someone who likes film. I'm also I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm a huge fan of Leonardo DiCaprio, who's a amazing actor. He really is. The Duke can fucking, act. I mean, the only, for all you need to know about Leonardo DiCaprio as an actor is the Quaalude scene within two years, he did the Quaalude scene in Wolf of Wall Street, which is an amazing bit of physical acting, a physical performance that I couldn't fucking do. He did that. And then he did that scene in once upon a time in Hollywood where he's at the table filming the scene in the TV show, which was an incredible piece of acting. He has both those, those things on film within uh, like a couple of years of each other. Like in his mid forties, that's like you know what's up, like De Niro or or whatever Pacino. Like he's on that. DiCaprio is great. Anyway, um, Shutter Island, a Scorsese DiCaprio movie. I only saw it once, and I remember not liking it. I haven't seen it since two thousand and eight. I'm curious to give it another look because how bad can it be? Um, then again, that's what I always say about. Um, that's what I always say about fucking Godfather three. About every t five to ten years. I talk myself into maybe Godfather Three isn't as bad as I remember it, um, and then you watch it and it is. You know what's like that? They reissued Crystal Pepsi. Crystal Pepsi, for those of you who don't know, was Pepsi without any dye in it, and it was okay. It was just okay. You had like, oh, there's actually some flavor to the caramel color. This is kind of, but it's like I get it, Crystal. It's clear, but eh, eh, that's fine. Which came out in 1990. You know what else came out? In 1990, which also has the same kind of like, eh, that's fine. Godfather 3, coincidence? Probably. But still, the cinematic equivalent in this day and age, 
The cinematic equivalent in this day and age of Crystal Pepsi is The Godfather 3. What's on the mic, Natty? What do you mean, what's on the mic? Oh. Just like, I think it's just like um, spots from like the metal. Uh, the crazy, everyone agrees um, about Leonardo DiCaprio. Is The Sopranos good? Yes, The Sopranos is excellent. It's one of the best shows ever. It's, it's the, the thing about The Sopranos is, I'll say it, The Sopranos is more historically important than it is actually good. Okay, Li oh, I love TikTok. TikTok shop is so much fun. I just got a live video violation for not talking about this fucking tripod, which is big. You should buy it. It's 30 bucks. I care about it. That's why I like it. This is why I don't stream on TikTok anymore. This is why you can watch me on X and on Kick and on Twitch, and on YouTube, and, and literally anywhere else but here, but this infernal fucking app. Um, what were we talking about? Yeah, so Sopranos is a show that's uh, more important historically than it was actually good, and it's very, very good. It's just that it's very, very important historically. It was just because of timing, it's kind of like the signifier of like the beginning of peak television or whatever you want to call it. Uh, the Sopranos is fantastic. Uh, Sopranos, Boardwalk, Empire, and The Wire all must watch if you live on the, the, the East Coast. I agree, except I, I never finished Boardwalk Empire. Speaking of Scorsese, it's well made. Um, yeah, but Sopranos, Sopranos is very good. It's very good. Also, one thing I'll say is Sopranos, I'm, I'm an Italian-American from where that show takes place. Um, and not once ever in The Sopranos did they get something wrong, like geographically or like culturally where I was like, no, that's wrong. And usually even like some production assistant or the, the director that week will make a mistake. Not once in that show ever over seven years. And that, that means something, you know what I mean? That, that really is, that really is like kind of a feat. Um, where in New Jersey you're from? I grew up in the eighth congressional district. <clears throat> It was wild to see the guy from Waterboy be a series actor in Boardwalk Empire, Nookie Thompson. My massively erect hog, is that is that a joke design, designed to make me go, you don't know who Steve Buscemi is? So our friend, mass, my massively erect hog, I don't know what he's referring to. You have a large pig in your house? I love that for you. You're a farmer. Says, it was wild to see the guy from Waterboy be a serious actor in Boardwalk Empire, Nookie Thompson. Uh, we're referring here to... Um, is New Jersey fun? What kind of question is that, Johnny? Like, what, what does that mean? Is New Jersey fun? Like, what does that mean? <laughs> really think about that question. <laughs> um, how, 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 would, how would you presume me to answer that? Um, okay, so I was a wild, so my, my massively erect hog is a wild game, wild name, Johnny, I agree. Um, so, Steve Buscemi, who is a, a, a frequently a, a frequent appearer in uh, uh, is New Jersey worth visiting? Um, let me let me talk about. I guess it's like in between. It's all suburbs. It's in between New York. It's in between New York City and like New York City is worth visiting. Philadelphia is worth visiting if you want to live in the suburbs close to either of those city. North Jersey for New York would be great for you. South Jersey, you know, Hoboken is nice, but it's like. I don't know. It's like not really. Um, four ads just hit me. Not going to hear anything. Hey, my massively erect hog. Uh, you can watch on kick ad free and you can watch on X ad free. You can watch on YouTube ad free if you pay. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm from uh, Northern New Jersey. And Steve Massimi, uh, uh, my massive erect hog is a, uh, is like a, a I want to say a serious actor. Also, the thing about Steve Buscemi is, um, like me, he's half Irish, half Italian. And obviously, you see how, how very, very handsome Steve Buscemi is? Uh, I heard the weather is good there. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. Oh, Roxy, that's a terrible joke to an American because we obviously know that the weather is not funny there. So we're like, yes, obviously. I could see how the comedic, the, Roxy, the, the comedic logic of what you just said was so impeccable. And that's just a weird note. The, the only reason I mentioned it and called you out, it wasn't that I was calling you out. It was like, oh, wow, that's an interesting, uh, where are the viewers? They're all on X, isolated doll. You want to join the party on X and kick? Um, 
that the rocks that was like a, just an instantaneous like oh weird weird like cultural uh humor thing but i slave dog do you like this show every morning you should come watch me on x or kick or twitch or youtube or anywhere over here uh, in fact i'm gonna leave here right now i'm over on uh, x guys uh nelski uh, i'd love to see you over on uh over on instagram or twitch or yada 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 uh x google natty eats junk for all my safe at work stuff google gets natty for all my safe at work stuff and then my other stuff but either way you'll find the show which is going on right now and we'll be on for another hour and a half you're originally from north jersey lisa v hope to see you on kick yeah all that for fucking 12 viewers fuck that we're done with tiktok live i don't know how many times i got to uh have to uh, have to learn that lesson um you wish you could drink um i quit so drinking oh no my tiktok's a dud too i just suck at tiktok now it's fine i'm an instagram star wow they all hate me i'm the worst Okay, my name's uh, did, Roxy. Did you really just go there? <laughs> Don't go there. I really did go there. Hold on, let's uh, let's let's try some fun stuff. You guys want to try some fun stuff? First time on the Get Snatty Show. First time on the Get Snatty Show. Um, what's a fun YouTube video? Ooh, uh, we're doing watch party. We're doing watch party uh, on my on my Discord tonight. We're gonna watch trashy reality show on Tuesdays. We do uh, we do Star Trek watch party next week. Next Tuesday, we're doing Star Trek Six, the last Captain Kirk movie, and we're gonna watch the modern trailer to it right now. But you can watch me crack wise to this. Uh, okay, share screen share all right what do we got here okay hey i'm trying to uh, i'm trying to make <laughs> okay okay Just like this, maybe? Let me get rid of the chat. Okay. David. We're doing this in Watch Party next week. This movie's David so lit. Is dead. <sighs> Lost his kid. Break this information down succinctly. The Klingon Empire has roughly 50 years of life. Cold War metaphor. How I feel about this. They're animals, Jim. There is an historic opportunity here. Don't believe. Don't trust them. They're dying. Let them die. <laughs> if there is to be a brave new world, our generation is going to have the heart. Uh-oh. Sabotage the peace process. We haven't fired. Yeah. Sorry. According to the We're watching the trail over here. Watch. Everyone has to be on the Signal our surrender. That's why, this is why you should watch on Twitch.x on, uh, on X, on Kick, on Not the be honest, Captain. Warrior to warrior. You do prefer this reaction, as it was meant. No peace. Kim Cattrall from Sex in the City as the Vulcan. The hot Vulcan on the bridge. Tickle us, do we not laugh? Trick us, do we not bleed? 
wrong us. Shall we not prevent? His name's General Kang and he quotes Shakespeare. He's a good Shakespeare. He's a good Star Trek villain. Parting is such a sweet song. Fire! Cry hammer! And let's slip the dogs of war! That's such a good movie. <laughs> okay, let's, where's the chat? Oh no, where's the chat overlay? So that was fun. That was the first video share on the Gets Natty show. And get used to it because there's going to be more. Where's chat? Where's chat? Okay, overlay. Let's put the overlay on. We're back, chat. How are you? Patootie. Spock is such a cutie. I'm getting, really, you're getting from Starfleet. Those are the vibes you're getting, Maxine. Um, incidentally, the creator of Star Trek, uh, Gene Roddenberry was really shut out of those very successful movies. And one thing he hated about them was how militaristic they made Starfleet, which he, he wanted, always wanted to be about um, like exploring. Um, so Star Trek, the next generation is, is very much less. Um, well, I mean, they, they fight and shit, but it's, it's more, they more lean into the diplomat explorer thing on it. Uh, sex drive Amish scene. You want to watch it? You want to do that? Okay, let's do it. I haven't watched this. We were talking yesterday about, 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 about how they don't make funny, like raunchy comedies anymore. Let's do that. That's a good, that's a good call. Uh, Pepe. Um, okay. Then, then we'll stop doing videos for a while. <laughs> I don't want to just like sit here, watch YouTube videos for two hours, or maybe that's what that, that'll be the new show from now on. Um, sex drive Amish, which, which scene? All I have is sex drive Amish fixing car. And I have Seth Green as the sarcastic. Uh, this is getting spicy. Um, aren't they just elves in space? Are, are you talking about the Vulcans? Um, yeah, that's a, exactly what they are. They're elves in space. Literally. They're very stoic elves in space. The Seth Green scene. Okay. Wasn't Star Wars First Galactic Empire supposed to be modeled after Nazis? Uh, yes, but also like the Romans. But I, you know, for sure, um, I, I can assure you that a that Star Trek, whether in the 60s or, or the 90s, was not po purposely evoking um, uh, the Third Reich. And Maxine, that joke was was as silly as it was unfunny and you know why invoke that shit uh the sarcastic armor guy okay uh okay screen share such a boomer such a boomer i don't know how to work the equipment sex drive amish fixing car share okay Need some help? <laughs> yeah, but no offense. Oh, right, because I'm Amish, got all the so in I wouldn't know anything about your 69 GTO Judge. 455 Big Block, Ram Air, 411 Posse, something like that? Weird, that thing must have fallen straight from space. Well, well good luck with the future ride, space man. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, wait up. Hold on. So he met this chick on the internet, which is sketchy. The internet? Yeah, it's like a series of computers that are connected through... Computers? No, we're just watching a... A, a computer's like a big calculator, you know, with a screen. I'm just busting your balls, man. I know what the internet is. There's Amish people <laughs> around us in, uh, in Wisconsin. That's maybe... Okay. You, you ever screen. heard of Rumspringer? Yeah, that's ska band from Delaware. Jeter? No, no, no. It's, uh, it means run wild. It's an Amish tradition where when we turn 16, we can go live like you heathens for a while. You go nuts, the party people around here always for so months or like maybe years. Maybe they know something we don't. So you folks start hassling me, then it's back to the Stone Age. But if you're on Rumspringa, what's with the buggy? Oh, no, no, I'm not. Not anymore. I probably shouldn't even be talking to him, but... Okay, we can't do this just bit of enough. for eight minutes. Um, but yeah, that's a really fun movie. Uh, Sex Drive. Let me, let, me, let me get rid of this. Um, 
No. No. Ah, uh, Master Skywalker, what are we going to do? Oh, here we are. And we're back. So that was fun. That was a scene from the movie Sex Drive, a uh, 2007 comedy. They don't make comedies like that. I don't want to, like, you know, I don't want to beat a dead horse. And it feels like woke culture is a little bit past us. Thank God, at least in an extreme way. But uh, one one of the casualties of that was 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 uh, dick and fart joke comedies like that. Uh, and that was a legit funny movie. Oh my god, I need to watch that. It's the guy from Buffy. Yes, it's Seth Green. It is uh it, what was his name on Buffy? He was the he was the werewolf. Oz. His name was Oz on Werewolf. He left on season four. But yeah, yeah, that's Oz from uh, Buffy. Also, uh Seth Green, real funny dude. He, he's the voice of Chris and Family Guy. And and if that weren't enough for you, he does a show called Robot Chicken. Uh, he's a he's a guy who's my age, maybe a year or two older, and also like a comic book geek. He does a show called uh, Robot Chicken, uh, where it's like Star Wars figures acting little comedy sketches. And oh, it's good fun. We love it. <clears throat> Nina, my God, you are the absolute worst, and I hate you. Seth Green isn't 30? What the fuck? No, I, I would imagine Seth Green might even be, he's either like, he's probably 48 or 49, or perhaps even 50. Let's find out. Let's find out how old is Seth Green right now. I'm going to say he might he might be as old as 50. Oh, I'm, did they go bad? Always fuck something up. I'm the worst. Oh yeah, Buffy came out like 20 years ago. Uh, closer to 30, because I remember great moments in Nat Lore. This isn't that interesting. Um, Seth Green is 50 years old, 1974. That's crazy. Great moments in Nat Lore. Um, hey, Reich. So it's 1997. I'm driving around down Route 22 in New Jersey, and I see a billboard for a new show called Buffy the Vampires. And when I tell you in that bu in that billboard, I saw the most beautiful woman I had ever seen to that point. I had thought uh, Sarah Michelle Geller. And before someone's calling me a fucking pervert or whatever, we're literally the same age. So go fuck yourself, all right, Jesus. Um, <clears throat> literally, I'm literally the exact same age as her. So frontal lobes. Anyway, uh, I just remember like it was like. It was like, where were you when, like, when, like, when Kennedy was shot? I wasn't alive yet, but I remember, like, seeing that like, billboard, like, Jesus fucking Christ. Um, but I didn't end up watching the show till years later. Uh, I didn't end up watching the show till years later because I just thought it was like goofy. I, I started watching it like in like 2004. Um, yeah, I, I love. It. And she is so, speaking of Sarah Michelle Gellar. Like, say what you will about Buffy. Like, she is so good. She is so good on that show. Nobody cries on camera with so much emotion and so much fucking pathos as, as Sarah Michelle Geller. I said what I said. There's a reason that show was so popular. Um, and it's a shame that Joss Whedon, the creator, died. <laughs> he died. He died. Like Louis C.K. just died. I'm sorry he died. Dead. Dead. There was nothing we could do about it. He had to go away and there was nothing we could do. Him and Louis C.K. Just gonzo. Um, but yeah, the show Angel, too, is also really good. Um, Maxine wishes she were a lesbian for her. Sarah Michelle, wow, a lot of people are loving. We get we get Sarah Michelle Geller saved my life. Sarah Michelle Geller, uh, Maxine wishes she were a a lover with her, and I love that for you. Ma Mahadol misses me. Do we know each other, Mahadol? How could you miss me? She was Daffy for me, and I remember watching Angel, not knowing it was a spinoff. Um, yeah, Angel was very much a spinoff. Angel, for a moment, Angel looked like it was going to be better. It, it would be, it would become better than Buffy. But unfortunately, uh, Cordelia, one of the characters from Buffy who spun over to Angel, she got pregnant, and that kind of the um, and that and Joss fired her. The, the 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 creator of the show was an asshole. Good writer, made good shows, cast well, but a, a, truly a monster. A, truly a monster. And that, like, oh, there's no, like, there's no okay about this. This isn't, like, 
a matter of mores or like changing times. He's a monster. He's a monster. I'll say it. Jocelyn's a monster. Same with Louis C.K. Um, people whose work I like who are monsters. Um, <clears throat> I don't know what my point was. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Um, I need to get back into Angel. Damn, he's hot. Yeah, uh, I have I have a bit of a man crush. I always did on uh, David Boreanaz, and like a, a man crush in like in that like I wish I looked like him. Um, yeah, handsome dude. I even watched. He was good on Bones. I was like really happy. I didn't watch Bones, but I was happy for him that it was a uh, it was such a massive, massive, massive uh, hit. But. Um, Oh, you're not even a woman, and you still want to be uh, lesbians with uh, with her. I love that for you. Okay, Johnny, we'll see you on Insta. <clears throat> Nina, are you okay? Oh, wow. So th- it's been the first hour. Did you guys enjoy the first hour? I've enjoyed it. We, we laughed. We cried. We were on TikTok twice. That was fun. We got way too close to Instagram. I'm sorry, Instagram, for, for being right up in your face like that. It's a little more, this is a little more, uh, more thing. I'm, I'm having trouble reading the uh, the old Instagram. Do I have enough light on me? If you're watching on X or Kick or, or YouTube or Twitch, do you think uh, do you think I ought to um, <laughs> do you think I ought to, I ought to like uh, light this brighter? What do you think? Inquiring minds want to know. Also, I was, I think I, I'm, I got to figure out a way to make this, hold on. You want to do this in real time? Oh, you can't do this in real time. I was going to say, can I change the design? Oh, I won't change it in real time. Oh, well, that's too bad. I think that, that you see the ticker below me? I think it looks, I think it looks ugly. <clears throat> okay. Well, this is the Gets Natty Show. We're going to take a quick break. This has been the first hour. I'm going to be back in two or three minutes. I'm just going to fix myself some coffee. Um, while I'm gone, well, I could, I could, you could watch this. You guys tell me, do you guys want to watch this? It's just that for two minutes. Or we could watch... You want to stare at my wall? Hey, uh, hey, Trump, so Palman. I'll be right back. I'm just going to fix some coffee. TV, we could put it out and sell more records and shit. But instead, we're going to spend 150 right grand back. just to make something we want to see. <laughs>
just so cool Why don't you just Guns N' Roses, Appetite for Destruction. I was telling Paige, with Nirvana and Guns N' Roses, those are like, uh, Appetite for Destruction and Nevermind are two such very formative albums for me. But I loathe the five songs from each album they play on the radio constantly. Um, Like, I, I just can't stand listening to fucking Come As You Are. I want to hear like the deeper cuts from the album. Did I ever see Nirvana in concert? No, I never did. That's a regret. They died when I was still in high school. Kurt Cobain died when I was still in high school. But like just to tell you just how fucking old I am. Nevermind dropped. Nevermind dropped when I was in eighth grade and was like really, really popular when I was in ninth grade, I think. Um, so you know, I was there. Good morning, Beth. How are you? Um, sorry, I'm eating something called a raspberry dunker donut, which is so, so good. Um, peace be with you as well. Hi, Jody. Good morning to you. Sorry, it's so rude. I'm like, I'm like shoveling this donut down my throat with, with 300 people watching. We could go mom. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jody, what a great question. She asked what my first concert was. I believe my first concert was either Arlo Guthrie, Woody Guthrie's son, <clears throat> um, but. I want to say it was uh, it was David Lee Roth, and it was opened by Johnny. You ask me every day at, at ten o'clock how my day is going. I don't know what to say. Like you've you've, you've seen the whole thing so far. <laughs> you be the judge. I wake up and then I do the show. That's that's how the day is going. Um. So my my first concert was was David Lee Roth with 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 being open being supported by. Um, being open, uh, be, being supported by Extreme, who sang more than words, and uh, and Cinderella, who sang, she took the last train by Maxine out of my heart. Uh, Cinderella was like an ACDC ripoff, but they're like dressed like hair metal. They're all right, though. Tom Keeper, good guitar player. But yeah, David Lee Roth, uh, he closed with Jump, and his, his lead guitar player was uh, Steve Vai. Yeah, I saw More Than Words performed live in 1992. You saw Elvis in concert? Really? That's amazing. I 
years ago. Saying I, saying I love you. It's actually hard to sing and play at the same time. Okay, that's it. Yeah, that's the song. This is monumental. You put me on the spot there. Like I don't like quite know the song. I remember it. Yes. She's wilder. I can't sing and play guitar at the same time. Well, it depends on the song. If it's a song where I'm like strumming chords, um, I can do it. it. It can be tough to play bass lines. Like you watch Paul McCartney play like uh, the bass line to silly love songs while he's singing the melody. It's like, I don't know how, how people do that. Uh, Mimo, I didn't know you played the guitar. I, I would say a, a, a way to get the hang of it would just Try finding a, a song with one chord. Really, there are songs that are just one chord. You kind of learn to sing over that. Um, and then move on to two and et cetera. Um, I, I can't, still can't get over that Jody saw, was lucky enough to have seen Elvis in concert. I assume he must have seen him in the, in the 70s, like when he was doing like Vegas shows and stuff. I would, you know, I almost, I, I'm, I'm a huge, huge Beatles fan, but I almost would want to say, if I had to pick between being able to say I saw one or the other, I almost want to say I'd rather, rather be able to say I've seen Elvis. <clears throat> but who's to say? I think the best concert I've ever been to might have been Peter Gabriel. I was talking about this the other day. I was at, again talking about how old I am. You ever hear of Woodstock '94? You always hear about '99. You hear about the first one in the '60s. I was at '94. The the you know the redheaded stepchild of the Woodstocks. I don't know. I, nothing like really bad happened there. It's kind of just nondescript compared to the iconic first one in the in the Limp Biscuit burning the fucking environmental disaster. The '90s are the worst thing ever of the 1999 one. I was at the 19. I was, at, I was at the 1994 one, um, and uh, it was it was headlined. The last person to perform on the last night, Sunday night, was was uh, Peter Gabriel, who was amazing. But I had seen, I, I saw Peter Gabriel was amazing, and it, it really blew me away in his last set. But I had already been surprised by Peter Gabriel at that 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 concert, that Woodstock '94. I was at. Have you ever seen? Um, have you ever seen like you ever seen footage of Green Day from Woodstock '94 when people are throwing the mud at them? I was literally like right up front chucking mud at Green Day, and I went down there with this girl from West Virginia that I was kind of trying to nail, but I didn't. And I, my, I think my friend did, but I, anyway, it was a long time ago. Um, so I was like literally right there up front, but right, right before, while I was waiting for Green Day to come on, came and came on like uh, uh, Peter Gabriel with some like some some band from Africa. And he was like singing with them and like the band was so good and the whole thing was good. I was like, wow, Peter Gabriel. Um, and then then a few days later at the same festival, he, he like headlines as like, you know, sledgehammer pretty Peter Gabriel. And I walked out of that like, well, I guess I like Peter Gabriel. Um, what else did I see? I saw Metallica, but I'd seen them a million times. I saw Cheryl Crow there. <coughs> uh, the Chili Peppers, but I'd seen them. Um, that was fun. I, I did some really good acid there too. <clears throat> so you saw Elvis as a kid in 1974. That's amazing, uh, especially 74 because like, we he was in 74. It was he still like like uh, was that fat Elvis? Was that like late stage Elvis Elvis or was that like 68 comeback special Elvis? I want to say it was probably the beginning of the of the end period, but still, you know, seeing Elvis in 1956 or 1974 is dope. Um, I, I do. I watch a lot of like. If you want some great like riveting YouTube, watch like Elvis performances. From uh, there's one. It says it's it says it's Elvis's last performance, and it's not. But it's uh, like our, look up a YouTube video of Elvis singing "Are You Lonesome Tonight" in like 1976. 
or something like just before he died. If you want to like, I don't know, it's really fucking moving because he still had it, but you can see this like broken man. Um, you know, it's uh, compelling. I like real, don't we all? Uh, we need a Woodstock again, but like a good one. Good morning, Jenny. How are you? You know, it was uh, Jenny. I was looking on the the. I woke up this morning. I looked on the, the our Discord. I have a Discord. You guys should ask me about how to join if you want. Uh, we have fun. I looked at. I, was, I saw you were uh, your you, your last post was at three in the morning. I'm like, oh, oh. I guess Jenny won't be in the show because she's up late. But here you are. Um, that's funny. <clears throat> Uh, so I'm asked what the worst concert I've ever been to. I don't know. Like, you know, I, I am someone who's a musician and I used to play in bands and I guess I'm going to start performing again and recording anyway. Uh, but I've never liked live music that much. It's always loud, especially like don't like it. I hate like when I used to like go to a bar and there's a band playing. I'm like, ugh. Um, you know, in general, like... Uh, Hold on, um, Mima. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna have to get back to that. Um, I completely, I, I, I forgot what I was just talking about because it was just somebody write. Uh, Mima writes. Um, well, I've been seeing Ben Affleck perform cheating on Anna De Armas live in New York City. Wait, are are Ben Affleck and and, and Anna De Armas in a relationship? I thought he was with J Lo. I, mean, I don't. I don't know what those the, the words mean. They used to date, but so you, what do you mean you caught him cheating? What, what, I, I need, I need, a, I need a topic sentence here. So you saw when, when, when Ben Affleck was dating Anna Darmus, you saw him in public cheating on her. Oh, that's cool. Did you get, did you tell the internet? He told me this story. I must have forgotten. See, this is why you're our entertainment reporter. You're actually, actually breaking stories. I have all my old concert tickets from back in the day when tickets were eight to fifteen dollars. Those are days. It's one of the things I love about when you watch it old movies and they're going through the supermarket. It'll be a movie from like nineteen ninety six, and there'll be a uh, I believe you, Mima. You, you'd be watching a movie from like nineteen ninety six and there's a supermarket. And you're like, wow, sixty three cents for a three liter of Pepsi. That's a good buy. Ooh, potato chips. Two 20 ounce bags for 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 four dollars. That's a good deal. Inflation, what a bitch. Hashtag I'm get snatty. Get snatty my way into your hearts. I make inflation jokes, isn't that right? He's tall, but he's slumped, so he looks six foot, but like not really. Uh you might as well be talking about me, Mimo. About Kurt. I, I get compared to Ben Affleck so much. And that's just another way. I don't know. We were like that. Another tall guy, large, tall man who doesn't who doesn't stand up straight. I also have a gigantic fucking head like Ben Affleck. <clears throat> so there it goes. Is Paige my J-Lo? I wish I were a little bit taller. I wish I were a baller. <clears throat> well, this is so much fun. Look at this shit. You guys want to see something cool? I can't, still can't get over this. I said I'll be right back, and here I am. So this is the Gets Natty Show. We're Gets Nattying our way into your, into your hearts five days a week. We're going to go live on TikTok for a minute. Again. It's fun having a landline. It was like Batman. It was real, like, rich kids of us when I was a kid for... Okay. Okay. Sorry, I'm so boring. We're going to add product. This is not music. Okay. Okay. Not music. Are you guys having fun? I'm having fun. Don't go there. We're going to call it Don't Go There again. Absolutely. Don't go there. Oh no, we got a we got a dirty screen. Isn't that fun? Oh, you're right up in my face again. It's Instagram, don't you love that? Don't you love that? Let's clean this lens. It's me, get snapping my way into your hearts five days a week. I got this uh I got this wonderful tripod. Look at that. Look at that. Hi Instagram. Does it um 
Hey Kelly, does it um does it make you feel good that that you're you guys are on the tripod that that we're that we're showing? So there's a band called Cigarettes After Sex. That's a weird name. Oh, I have to switch this up because so you can see my head. Sorry, TikTok. You got a weird angle. You are no longer the uh, you are no longer the focal point of my live streams, TikTok. I'm sorry to say, but I have a new master, and that master's name is X. <clears throat> hey, Rhonda Thompson. Shannon Kirchmeyer is here. Guys, uh, the Gets Nanny Morning Show has a new home. The new home of the Gets Nanny Morning Show is everywhere but here. By here, I mean TikTok. Everyone here, everyone else is watching me. I'm home. The Gets Nanny Show is found on X. The Gets Nanny Show is found on Kick. The Gets Nanny Show is found on Instagram. The Gets Nanny Show is found on my other X account. The Gets Nanny Show is found on, on, uh, on Twitter and YouTube. The Gets Nanny Show is not found anymore on TikTok because you can't do a talk show on TikTok. But hey, buy this fun tripod. TikTok shop. We love TikTok shop. <clears throat> you should play a song on live if you can, whether you use. You mean play a song during the morning show, Mima? I don't love, here, let's test this out. You tell me. I feel like the guitar, when it comes to this mic, because like the noise canceling sounds weird. Let's just play a simple thong. Simple thong. Um, hey, Mercury Man. Baby shark. Baby shark. Oh, oh, I said rest for... Oh, okay. But uh, anyway, that, that, that begs the question. Does the, uh, does the guitar sound weird coming through this mic? <clears throat> Here's a fun speeding ticket I got from Oklahoma. I'm sorry, in Ohio. I've been two speeding tickets in the past 20 years. Um, both were were driving through Ohio in the last six months. Meh a bit, meaning it doesn't, like, the guitar doesn't sound good coming through here. Yeah, like, it, it gets, like, muffled or something. Um, but, you know, we were talking last night, like, uh, we were talking last night. Uh, Mima, I was I was doing that that guitar live on uh, on TikTok for like zero people because I'm obviously in TikTok live jail. Uh, I'm gonna leave TikTok, guys. I'll, I'll be. You can watch me. I love going live. Um, there's 350 people watching me on X right now, so go over there. Uh, you, Caroline, you watch the talk show. Natty, just Google Natty eats junk to find everything I do safe for work, uh, and or Google gets Natty to find everything I do safe for work. Um, and the other stuff, but uh, the, the live show is literally everywhere you find me. But here, um, uh, so X, Kick, uh, two X accounts, a safe for work and not safe for work. Yada yada yada. YouTube, Twitch, Natty East Junker gets Natty. You'll find me. I'm on every morning. Uh, but Jen, we, it doesn't matter if you can't come on an X because we got you on. Uh, we got you on the Kick, if you like. Um, so okay, TikTok. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna leave. Um, this is fun. Hey, Mercury man. And please watch me on, on X or Kick. I'm on every day. I got a speeding ticket October of 2020 and still haven't been seen in court. They keep pushing it back. Because of COVID, they have more important stuff to deal with. Well, that's awesome. You haven't had to pay a speeding ticket. Speeding tickets are the worst. This thing, I, don't even want, I, I was going 90 and a 70, which blows. I think it's going to be like 200 bucks. I got to look at it. It's a couple days late, too. It's like, I don't like looking at it and paying it means like speaking its name, you know? Okay. Uh, let's go back live on Instagram. Oh, wait, I posted a reel. I forgot how it was doing. Wow. I hate fucking weird people who are mean. Sorry. We are back on Instagram. Fuck TikTok. Okay. You were going 70 and a 50? Yeah, you know. 
so I am a, I'm a high impact sort of fella. And when I tell you I'm tough on reading glasses, let me tell you, I am tough on reading glasses. My last, um, that's the, the last, uh, Uh, that's the last um, working pair of uh, reading glasses. <clears throat> hey, guys, should I go live on here sometime for no reason? Live on kick? I would honestly, as, 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 for all the shit I, I talk, I would, I would recommend going live on uh, TikTok when you're starting out. <clears throat> I'm tough on my blue light glasses. I collect them like Pokemon cards. I'll watch you, Jen. I promise. <clears throat> hey, guys, check this out. I'm so, look at this shit. If I ever need to count down 60 seconds, I've got it fucking... I've got it. Oh, I don't have a, a thousand followers. I'm not an elite TikTok member. Oh, 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 oh. Um, then yeah, start streaming on kick. Or if I ever got to count down 30 seconds, I got this one. Hey Kelly, we're back over here. I was cheating on uh, the countdown scares you like it's impending doom. I was gonna put a countdown on this. I got to tell you, I am super thrilled with my little opening credits thing. Because like it, now it, it helps me. I can start the show on time now because it's like I see 9 a.m. and I put this on. I'm outside and so is my dad doing work playing AM radio really loud. <clears throat> since uh, since Paige came into my life, her, her dad uh, her, her dad works in radio. And, and Paige is a lover of, of radio. But since Paige has come into my life, um, I've listened to, I listen to a lot more terrestrial radio than I used to, including AM, and I, I really like it. Um, it, it's funny because, um, when I started, uh, this morning show, when I started this morning show, uh, last summer, I was like, what I really wanted to do was, uh, fake morning radio and we're getting there. Is it snowing uh, in Wisconsin? No, uh, we had snow. We had a snowstorm, but uh, it's mostly all melted here. The snow, the snow came and went. But it was nice getting a little, uh, little dose of snow in April or late, late March. <clears throat> hey, I got got some special for you guys. It's been a while, but we're gonna do it again. We've got this great book called 1003 Great Things About Getting Older. Like I always say, they could have stopped at 1,000, but they went to 1,003. So let's uh, let's get a, grab a couple. Let's grab four pearls of wisdom from this book. You can now enjoy life's small pleasures, such as looking for your glasses. I hear that. I'm looking for my glasses all the time because I'm always losing my reading glasses. I'm always losing them. Welcome to NPR. I'm your host, Gets Natty. Gets Natty my way into your hearts five days a week. We're having fun. We're reading um, we're reading 1,003 great things about getting older. Now, I am a man of a certain age, and I am getting a little older. I need the reading glasses, the peepers, the peepers. That is true. I am spending a lot of time looking for my glasses. You know me so well, Lisa and uh Patricia and David. I feel, I feel like Lisa, Anna, David, and Patricia are like my best friends. They really like know me. And then they say, after, 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 and then they say, noticing the dust on the picture frames so you can tell the maid about it. Now, I wish that were my problem. I unfortunately can't afford a maid. I'm not like the super fancy rich people in this book, apparently. And so, you know. I said Lisa, Anna, Patricia, Dave were my friends, but Lisa, Anna, David, and Patricia can go fuck themselves. You heard it here. Fuck them. Maid shaming me. Shaming me for not having a maid. Fuck you. Who's got a maid in this day and age? Thanks, Joe Biden. This guy's fucking hilarious. 
circling what do you want to watch in TV Guide. Okay, Boomer. No one even looks at TV Guide anymore. Berating your children when they finally call you for not having called you sooner. Well, I never had children. The book reference made the books like noticing picture. The, the one of the things that said one of the nice things about getting older is noticing the, the the dust on your picture frame so you can tell the maid about. It. I'm like, what maid, fucker? The TV guide, yeah. What's up, boomer? Hashtag boomer. Real shocking that the book about being old is fucking super boomer. TV guide, do they make that anymore? That's a question. Do they even publish it anymore? I'm gonna say that they don't but let's see hey daniel king how are you we're trying to figure out if uh if 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 tv guide is still published tv guide magazine will be available on newsstands april 1st 2024 you better believe it you better believe it that's, I find that surprising, don't you? I guess like it's the type of thing like if, if you if you're someone who still buys TV guy, like you're locked in. I, I guess it's got a pretty sticky audience uh, while it lives. Because I think it's fair to say that you know <laughs> TV guy's publishing lifespan, barring some sort of like internet apocalypse, I would say uh, I would say TV Guide's publishing lifespan is, is its days are numbered to say the least. You bought you bought a TV Guide recently. Do you buy it? I guess at this point, like at this point, people who still buy TV Guide, they're really buying it for the articles because the TV listing's useless. I'm going to start telling people I read TV Guide, and they're going to say why. And I'll say, I like the articles. Like like people used to say with Playboy. They used to be one of the things. In fact, one of the best t-shirts ever made. You can find this t-shirt. If anyone wants to be my hero, you can find this t-shirt and send it to me. It's a t-shirt with a Playboy bunny that Playboy magazine used to sell. With the Playboy bunny, it says, I read the articles. And the truth is, I used to be a subscriber to Playboy. It's true. I did read the articles. Playboy every month had fantastic fiction um, and like good investigative journalism. And like every month, like a banger short story by like Jonathan Irving or some shit or Chuck Palahniuk, like really good shit. Um, then it had, um, then it had, pen, uh, it had a Playboy Forum, which is kind of like a, a lot of like political writing. Um, at the time, it was it was uh, some of the you know what was being published, pretty like vibrant. Some like pretty pretty big deal left wing thinkers were working at Playboy. Great magazine is all I'm saying. Um, Really like Playboy. Also, also the thing with Playboy magazine, every month there would be a new young, beautiful woman showing her boobs with a centerfold, which was also nice. So you'd get it and you get like the one, like the one, oh, I can, I can, you know, gratify myself and, and, uh, and read. So hashtag Playboy magazine gone, not forgotten. They've kind of rebranded themselves as like, I don't know, internet porn. And that's not what it's about. Playboy's about old-fashioned sexism, isn't it? I'm just kidding, of course. Or am I? <clears throat> I just bought it because I had The Walking Dead. But that's what I mean. Like, like I, I, what I did say was a, a cheeky way of saying you bought it for the articles. Like, I might buy it if, for whatever reason, like, I don't know, Jean-Luc Picard was on the cover or The Beatles. Because, like, it has a cover or an article referencing something I like, something they put on the wall. Hey there from Ecuador. You're, uh, I'm, you're watching me all the way in Wisconsin. Um, wow. Nina, my love, are you okay, darling? Guys, I'm going to get the phone and fix my coffee. We'll be right back.
We're back. It's me, Gets Natty. Is it okay if I talk about The Walking Dead? What do you mean? You can talk about whatever you want. It's just whether or not um, I can also. I'm also afraid to just not talk, not not read it, read what you say. <laughs> so talk about whatever you want. Where were we? I don't know. I have no idea. All I remember was before I got my coffee, there was, before I got up to get coffee, I don't even know what we're talking about. Um, there's been six Walking Dead spinoffs. Crazy. Um, I love The Walking Dead, including the comics. I stopped watching the show after a while though i only watched the first season i kind of didn't like it and then i heard it just sucked after uh, but i loved the first hundred issues of the comic um but try not to uh try, guys try not to spoil um walking dead in the in the comments if you can Hey, lovely Bella, how are you? Do I speak Spanish? Uh, no, Ariel, I am i don't, but even if I did, I, I probably wouldn't speak Spanish right now when I've got a 500 people who expect me to speak in English. <clears throat> okay, I need a reset. Hola, yo soy Gets Natty. Yo Gets Natty. Uh, vosotros carazones todos los dios lunes a uh, viernes 10 a.m. No sé cómo se dice 10 a.m. en español. Lunes a viernes 10 a.m. So I Gets Natty. How was that? How was my Spanish? Ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba. Should I have someone? I should have. I should have this uh, translated into Spanish, real time. Say, uh, say. Hmm. On pensait que on pensait que que je suis plus. Uh, Je sais pas comment on dit uh, funny en français. Je l'ai oublié. Um, it's more fun when I speak French. I disagree. Uh, I'll teach you repeat. Seco de dry chicken and rice and Maduro. Okay. Seco de pollo con arroz y Maduro. It's chicken and rice with Maduro. Fun. You like that, Ariel? I'm trying, you know. Ah, to our friend turned the pages at Quebecois. Say, uh, say bien, say très bien. <clears throat> All right. Well, now that I'm fluent in Spanish, what do I do now? It's time to expand. We're gonna do the show every morning. Uh, <laughs> dual cast the show once in English, then I'll do it again in Spanish. I'll have someone out, someone to write it. <laughs> I took four semesters of French in college because I had to for my major. It got intense. I was a French minor in college, actually, and I don't speak a fucking lick of French. I don't speak a fucking lick of French. Um, the thing is, um, it, it's difficult. I, I always say this, but like one of the biggest reasons it's difficult for English speakers to uh, to learn other languages is because when we go to other countries, everyone already already speaks English. Um, for the most part. So it's just very difficult. Like if you're like, if you're like a Flemish person from Belgium, you have to learn French so you can get along. Like it's a necessity. So you learn like it for, for a lot of English speakers, like learning, uh, learning a second language is a luxury versus a necessity the way it is for other people, just because English is such a, um, 
Um, does anyone receive live notifications for kick? They never, they come through and I never, I don't understand. Hmm. Right. I don't know. I don't know how that works, but do you know, I am going to consistently come on at 9am from now on, but, uh, I'm also going to start, um, not to completely change the subject, but you, you know, I've always like historically randomly gone live on TikTok to play guitar or go to the supermarket. I'm going to do that here uh, on these, on these platforms. Fuck TikTok. Fuck TikTok. I'm over it. Uh, Mimo, Mimo helped me come to that re realization last night. Um, yeah, and it's not like, it, it's like, do you really think, like, honestly, say what you will about the English-speaking world, but the English-speaking world has achieved some technological marvels. Is your, is your you know, like, the English-speaking world put a man on the fucking moon, people. All right? Like, so is, is really, is your premise, rest of the world, that this is like, like French people I'm really talking to. Is your premise, French people, that English speakers are stupid? Or is it maybe that it's difficult for us to immerse the languages because everywhere we go, like if, if I'm, if I was a native French speaker and I landed in Ohio, you better believe I'd better learn fucking English really quick. Whereas if I were uh, an English speaker or uh, someone from England and I landed in like Berlin, everybody speaks German there. It, it, do you know what I mean? Like, it's not because we're dumb. It's just like, we, we generally don't. Um, yeah. It, it, every morning, uh, 10 AM Eastern time, Kelly, 9 AM, uh, uh time I'm, I'm on the same time every morning but i'm, I'm but read the notifications right i'm going to start going on you know ad hoc times to either play guitar or do whatever you know separate from the morning show so um maybe if, if you were to follow me on uh on one of the other places you'll get a notification there and then you can know that you would go see me on kick um but i'll i'll, I'll look into my my kick i'll look under the hood of my kick and see if there's something i can do to make sure that a followers get a get a uh, thing also I'm, I'm pleased to know that on uh, apparently on kick there's no commercials so that that would that, that would definitely um make me want to uh steer people there over twitch though i'll tell you if you have amazon prime if you're an amazon prime member you can subscribe to my 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 twitch for free at no cost to you you're already spending um i have notifications for twitch and that always comes through perfect because like anytime literally every time the way it's set up i, I can't stream on twitch without streaming on kick at the same time so if you get if you see like the, the the twitch notification that means i'm on kick um tech could be weird yeah it, it, it's funny i was reading something about like ai is rapidly changing but it kind of looks like it's kind of sucks like ai kind of sucks like the ai art it, it, it it's not evolving and it's evolving into like a, a with like this real mundanity um, and this like kind of like lameness. And I, I'm kind of thinking that like we we think about we, we think about this horrifying technological future where AI takes over. Hey, hey, Cotton Bowl, it's not going to be like that. I don't think. I, I think the horrifying technological future is more like technological bureaucracy and just like lameness and red tape and inconvenience. Not like not like the fucking Matrix. Just like ugh, ugh, like bullshit. Like the TikTok community guidelines, shit like that. You know what I mean? Like, ugh, what a pain in the ass. You know, like for most of our lives, we deal with like stupid fucking bureaucratic, bureaucratic red tape rules that make no sense or rules we have to have because so many people are fucking stupid. And we can't have nice things. It's going to be like that, except online and all the time. It's not going to be like, it's not going to be like robot slave drivers shooting you with lasers. It's going to be robot administrators and algorithms frustrating you and making you severely annoyed at everything. That's my theory. I'm also an optimist. Hello, your intensity is like a symphony, harmonious and harmonious and what? And arousing. Well, thank you, Sharon Miller. Flattery will get you literally everywhere. That's for fun. Uh, AI scares me a lot. Well. Is TikTok banning me all the time? Yeah, I, I can't even like why I, I'm 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 done. Uh, I'm not banned from TikTok Live right now, Daniel King. But if I were to do this show here, I would be banned. I get banned every time I do it. So fuck it, fuck TikTok. I'll still make videos there. And I still want to be a successful TikToker insofar as making uh, videos is concerned. But I'm not doing the morning show there anymore. Fuck it. Why? It either gets banned or or in addition to in addition to it um. In addition to it, 
uh, always getting banned, they're not sending people to watch anymore. And listen, I'm not the best live streamer in the world, but I know a thing or two about live streaming. I, I could put on an entertaining show. I should be having more than 10 people watching me on TikTok. I mean, I have 400 watching right here. You know, it not it doesn't mean I'm the greatest guy on earth, but it means like, you know, I'm vaguely interesting. So I think right now I'm, I'm being throttled as a live streamer by TikTok. Either, either I am being actively throttled or whatever it is I do is not something that people on TikTok want to see, in which case, fuck it. Um, you know, I got, there, there'll be 500 people on here by the time we sign off. If I go on tomorrow, if I go on tonight, there'll be, you know, seven, 800. Um, hey, Mercury, man, I'd love to see you over here. That's fantastic. <laughs> Hey, John Benitez, love to see you here, uh, Mercury Men. And I love, I love, uh, I love to see people like you here on Kick because there's no commercials. You already are successful. Don't stress about TikTok. Yeah, actually, Daniel King, like Daniel King, I swear to God, it has been so freeing for me to realize, like, because uh, because of uh, mostly because now there's people watching on X every day. There's 400 people. Most of them are on uh, 420 people. Most of them are on one of my Twitter accounts. But since I noticed that, like, I don't care about it. if TikTok goes away, it's fine. And I have Instagram. Like, it is a nice feeling that I'm not completely dependent. I used to be completely dependent on TikTok. And that's not the case anymore. It, 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 if, if the app goes away in a week, I hope it doesn't. But if it does, I'm kind of like, eh, sorry about it. But I'll be fine. Um, you know, I have, I have some as good as TikTok has been to me. I have some, like, major beefs with it. Um, you know. But then, which is kind of silly because I, I literally owe everything I have as a as a creator or live streamer or video maker or porno guy. Uh, I, I literally owe everything to TikTok. Mm. So, thanks TikTok. Hope you don't get banned. But if you do, fuck off. <clears throat> and I won't be doing my live show anymore because on your on your thing because you don't seem to want me. So, go fuck yourself. Right, Nina. <clears throat> So I got these reading glasses, which are, these are far and away my, my, my sharpest looking reading glasses. Rosie morning to you. These are far and away my sharpest looking uh, reading glasses. I look like a ferocious animal, perhaps like a member of the CIA, former spy. You know what I mean? This looks like a hard man. Looks like a hard man. <clears throat> so. The problem is with these, I would wear these all the time, except these are bifocals. So when you look straight ahead, they're just regular glasses, like just regular flames. But then I'm just, if you look down, they're reading glasses. The problem is when I'm live streaming, I'm always looking straight ahead at the chat or whatever. And there's stuff I need to read. I have to go like this. And I look like weird. So you can see my double chin. And that's not a great, that's not a great look for a, uh, for a guy who fancies himself handsome, trying to do a uh, handsome guy morning show. So just changes to the I want to be handsome guy in morning show. I think I will. Like, look at this guy. What's this guy's deal? Seamless. Did you see that? Which was which? Those, those, well, those of you on Instagram, you don't even know the, the amazing joke you just missed. It was crazy. It is 1043 a.m. Um, my name's Get Snatty. I get Snatty my way into your hearts. I have written down here a song I want to learn called I'll Never Forget You, Boy, the No No Zest. This song was very big when I first started on TikTok. Let's see if I know it. What you drinking? Rum or whiskey? Won't you have a double with me? I'm sorry I'm a little late. I got your message by the way. I'm calling in sick today. So let's go out for old time. Say, hey, hey, I'll never forget you. Oh, wait, I got the chords wrong. Remember that song? You'd say we'd never make it my sweet joy. Always remember me. Uh, fun song. Let's 
sorry, I was zoning out <clears throat> reading about people's experiences with alien entities while on psychedelics. I find that very interesting as someone who's um has a newfound interest in in uh, the spiritual. And uh, you know, that is something that runs up in my studies or the stuff I've looked at so far, it runs into a psychedelics and B quote alien entities. So I'm very excited. Um, I got to tell you guys, I'll, I'll just tell you what, what set me down a horrific rabbit hole is the CIA in 2016, when nobody cared, published something called the, the project gateway stuff, wherein the, the CIA with some scientific rigor and, and the, uh, this was, the KGB was up to it too during the Cold War. This is kind of what like Stranger Things is based on, but like they saw some fucked up shit, like some fucked up shit that like really like God's real. The spiritual world is real. Hinduism might be like a kind of a map of the fucking cosmos. Uh, the CIA and the, the KGB kind of discovered this independently. This is, you guys can look at, at Project Gateway yourself, like the actual stuff. It, you know, literally everything I thought I knew that, that I've been told and was really sure of uh, was, has very much been shattered by this. Um, and, and that's something that led me towards, you know, uh, the very least, like, why don't you like see what meditation's like? Uh, I used to love Stranger Things. I stopped paying attention to it, though. Oh, well, that's just a TV show. We're talking about um, whatever the fuck the CIA and the KGB were up to with astral projection and stuff, because it's a little bit crazy. Um, I don't care for the way TikTok has all the creators advertising crap. Um, yeah, I, I mean, you know, I, I was willing to play ball with all that, but I don't know. I, I'm just, at this point... What do you do? I, I, it's really nice to see you over here, Jody Anzalone. And um, just you know, on 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 uh, on Kick, you'll never have to deal with ads if uh, if you don't want to deal with ads. Same with uh, that's the same. You can go on my uh, my Safe for Work X account too. There'll be no ads. But the uh, the the chat on Kick is uh is super instantaneous. That's why a lot of uh, my regs love it so far. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's it's. <clears throat> So those experiments always interest me because I want to know how they work. If that makes sense. Well, you should, you should read about this stuff. It's um, you do hear Nina snoring. She's actually, it's more like, it's more accurate Kelly that Nina is snortling uh, and kind of chortling. Cause she's not sleeping. She's just breathing loud. Um, you know, at, at the very least, like at, at the very least, I've come with, I, I, I've come, I, I've seen, forget about in my own experiences too, but I, I've, I've recently just come to the realization that the, the reason as we know it, kind of like post-World War II, science is everything, there is no spirituality, has kind of taken me all, you know, as far as it's going to get me. I'm not like a physicist. Um, so if I, if I want to continue to grow as a person, it's, it's going to have to be, uh, growing as a, you know, spiritually, um, you know, government remote viewing, how, yeah, exactly how that, how that relates to like, and, and it turns out this all started, this whole thing of me wanting to find God started in two very distinct places, two very distinct places. I heard the same idea said, and it was that. It turns out physicists are, are, are coming to the realization that Hinduism kind of really mapped out metaphysics in the cosmos in a way that's like kind of hard to ignore. Like uh, in, in Eastern religions in general, it, it kind of like came to thousands of years ago, came to conclusions that, that advanced physics are coming to now, which is like, what? Huh? So I saw that, it, it, that that idea kind of expressed in two different places. I'm like, huh? That doesn't that doesn't comport with my Carl Sagan, very literal, very post war age of reason brain, raised by you know my dad was a was a lawyer who went to NY went to Bergen Catholic, raised, uh, taught by Jesuits, Jesuit fucking monks who they're literal fucking people all about reason. Jesuit monks don't 
don't have a don't you know don't have time for bullshit. We're Earth six thousand years old. That's a that's a, a tradition of, of intellectual rigor in the Catholic Church. Anyway, um, so like and then you know that kind of thing. If you can't prove it, if there's a scientific study, it doesn't exist. It's not real. Which is kind of the way I was taught, and you know th that kind of mindset is, is achieved wonders. But um, yeah, there's more to life than that, and I, I think I've I've always in intuitively known um i've always intuitively known that there was something else out there well you know like an interesting point about about hinduism is you know the indian subcontinent that the entire society is is really is really um oriented around that religion and, and like you know there's some unignorable things about like through a lot of those techniques being able to like achieve divinity than on earth in a way that, that can't be ignored but you have a society there that that's that's completely organized by that, and that's a place where you have like the caste system, and it's horrifically sexist. Um, so, like you know, I'm I'm not saying like we should like as a you know I think a mixture of of all sorts of things is where we get where we're going. But yeah, um, when I you know I'm not I'm not going to completely endorse every aspect of uh, of Ayurvedic culture and stuff, yada yada yada, but. It turns I, I I've come to the realization, or this is, this is the, I'll put a bow on this whole discussion because I guess it's boring for some people. I've come to the realization that it's possible that people like Harry Krishnas and people, uh, you know, people who speak in tongues, snake dancers. It's I'm just saying it's possible. I'm open. I've, I've opened my mind up to the point where I think it is now possible that maybe those are the people who really know what's going on. Who we, we all laugh at them. We all laugh at those Harry Krishna at the airport. Or, you know, the snake. Maybe they're like actually, you know, I don't fucking know. I, I can't say that they're, I used to be able to, I used to think I could say nope. But I, I, I know, and I guess I've always known that I can't say that. That's that's really it. So I'm excited to. Uh... What's mommy doing? What's mommy doing? You know, thinks you're talking to her. I always wondered what God looked like. Um. I would imagine, I have no idea, but I imagine God exists in a place where things like sight and look like don't matter because sight, sight is a very physical sense and it's how sight is something that allows us to see things in our physical world. I think God, by definition, or maybe I'm wrong, would be operating on a, on a different frequency. But again, as always, I'm the world's biggest idiot. And what the fuck do I know about anything? I know here's here's what I know about. You should take my if, if you ever want to like trust what I'm saying, it has to be about one of two topics: Batman lore and Star Wars lore. I'm an expert, my my opinion's unimpeachable. Everything else, I'm a fucking idiot. So always anytime I say something, assume it's wrong. Truly. <clears throat> but I have a feeling, you know. I do remember, like, it's funny. Maybe God is like an idea. I'm not sure how to describe my thoughts. Johnny, can I buy some pot from you? That's pretty deep. <clears throat> okay. Oh no, dead air. What are we going to do? Wow, it is 1054. How, how have I been on for two hours? What, what did we even talk about? We watched a YouTube video. We saw a sex drive. And we talked about the Amish. <clears throat> when I see Amish people around here, they're always smiling and they always seem like a, they know what's what. And maybe, um, maybe, that's what I, maybe that's what I'm looking for. A, just a little bit, one tenth of what of what our Amish friends have, <clears throat> of the uh, you know, of the inner peace inherent. Hey, you guys want to see something cool? So, what do you guys know about pony kegs? I always thought a pony keg was a. Uh, 
just like a, a word for a small keg, but a, apparently a pony keg is a uh, actual like unit of measurement. And uh, I, I only know this because recently purchased a pony keg full of gourmet root beer called 1919, and it is truly excellent. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the only way to drink soda. And from now on, the only soda that will pass my lips up, obviously this is not true, but I was going to say the only, the only, the only soda that's ever going to pass my lips is a soda that comes from, um, is coming from uh, the thing. Uh, did you know The Walking Dead is turning 14 this Halloween? You mean the show? Because the, the, the comic book is at least 20 years old. Is this a Walking Dead podcast? Um, <clears throat> that's crazy that 2000 and, it was, it was 2010. That's crazy that, that it's, uh, it's 50 years old. <clears throat> um, guys, I have, I have to pee. One sec. And we're back. <clears throat> I love the movie Vikings. Is there a movie called Vikings? Hey there, Bear Man, Benny from Florida. How are you? It's me, Gets Natty. Gets Natty my way into your hearts five days a week. Doing our thing. Let's, uh, let's watch a fun little video. Oh no, Master Skywalker! What are we gonna do, Master Skywalker? Where is it? YouTube. Do you guys hear the radio in the background? That's so fun. I'm a big lover of a, a new lover of of a rediscoverer of uh, uh, rediscoverer of. Terrestrial radio. Hmm. Second time today for me. What do you mean, Bear Man? Uh, is the second time you see me uh, streaming? Well, thank you very much. This has been the Get Snatty Show coming at you for the last two hours. I've Get Snatty my way. I like to think successfully into your hearts. Uh, I'll be back to get snatting my way into your heart tomorrow. Tonight on my Discord, we're doing a trashy reality show watch party. I don't know what uh, what show we're doing, but we'll figure it out. That's always fun. Uh, how do you join my Discord? Um, you can uh, figure out a way to get me $3, and then you're a member for life once. You can subscribe to my TikTok, and then you get a link, or you can... Uh, subscribe on twitch or whatever and i'll give you a link or you can just ask me and i'll give it to you for free um if you're someone i know the, the only reason i charge is so i don't have <clears throat> if you want to troll me and call me a fucking monster while i'm watching star trek you got to pay three bucks first but uh we have a good time at discord and we, we have so much fun on our watch party and like i said tonight we're doing trash reality shows tuesdays we do star trek um <clears throat> sometimes some members run their own watch parties on there we're doing uh, also doing an interview with the vampires it's been a lot of fun but tonight, we're going to do a trash reality show. I think we're going to do, uh, we might do Love is Blind again or Love on the Spectrum. Hey, Golden Ear Sanctuary. Um, so that's a lot of fun. Um, and yeah, DM me. Uh, on it, it, The best way to get in touch with me by way of DM is Instagram. I do read my DMs on Instagram. I never read my, my messages on TikTok, so you might as well not bother. Um, but yeah, if you want to join the Discord, let me know. 
My name is Getz Natty. Uh, I had a great time today. I hope you did too. I'll be back on tonight for the watch party. Maybe I'll do a little bit of teasing. And maybe I'm, I'm going to start um, doing my guitar lives on here. By here, I mean all these places. Um, so, love yous. Thank you all so much. I'll be back on tomorrow morning. Bright-eyed, bushy-tailed, Getz Natty. Gets nattying my way into your hearts.